Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. About a year ago, I reviewed this CT20 cable tester and I called it bonkers because it can test nearly anything. And you all have agreed with me. You love this thing. I see you guys buying it on Amazon. It tests USB A to B and HDMI and all these various things. And I think that is so freaking cool. And about the only complaint people ever make about this thing is why can't it test X, Y, or Z? And so I've actually been thinking about that problem for the last year and I've thought to myself, there has to be maybe not a better way, but another way. And I've been thinking to myself, can I, or even better, can we as the community build the ultimate cable tester? And so you've seen some various things on my channel where I made this nine pin cable tester, which is kind of a one trick pony, but it was just a little bit of a proof of concept playing around with some things. And then uh, over the last year, I kind of knocked out an initial prototype. This was actually the first just PCB I fully designed on my own. And you can see there's a couple of bodges on there and I'm learning some stuff. And then I made another version of it here that's on an Arduino Mega and uh, hastily soldered together some crooked LEDs. And I think I need to make one bodge on this one. Uh, uh, and this is not even close to the final form. But the fact is, the idea works. And of course, I need to thank PCBWay for not only sponsoring this video, but making this entire project possible. You see, when I make a bad revision, I can make a better revision. And from there, I can make a better revision. Each one of those revisions only cost me five bucks for 10 boards, plus a little bit of shipping that I usually combine anyway to kind of divide the cost out. All I have to do is export the Gerbers, send them up to PCB Way, and I will have PCBs to my door in about a week. And so I want to thank them for sponsoring this video, sponsoring this project, and even all the YouTubers that they sponsor and help us bring very cool content and very cool projects to the entire world. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, why would I care about testing a ribbon cable and seeing that it's got this giant break in there? And I agree, you wouldn't. But what you would care about is if you could have an unlimited number of daughter boards that could fit on this thing. Now, this isn't the final form factor. This will have female headers on there, and there's a technical reason for that. But what if you could have unlimited daughter boards to make testers that could test anything to anything? Well, that's the idea I had. And I've started kind of working on the concept of making these daughter boards. This one will do a 37 pin and a VGA and a nine pin serial and a 15 pin game port and a 25 pin serial and stuff like that. And the idea is that something like this will have a male adapter on it and it will connect to this board. And then you can put this one or any other of the boards that we're making on the other side. Now, I've got some awesome other ideas that are gonna just make it crazy cool. And I've even got somebody else, I'm not willing to say who they are yet, but I've got somebody else on board. And I'm hoping that there are multiple somebody else's who are willing to get on board with this project and have some fun. I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. I do care about the project and I wanna build the ultimate cable tester, but I also want you to learn PCB design. And one of the coolest things about this project is that we're gonna have a very cool, way more high-tech design than this. But once this is designed, then essentially it opens up the door for so many combinations of these add-on daughter boards. And in my mind, these are the absolute perfect projects if you wanna learn PCB design. And why is that? Well, the fact is there aren't any components on here. We're going to we're going to make them a little more advanced, but there aren't any components on here. You just need to make sure that you have the wiring done right and that you have the footprints done right. And this is an opportunity to learn how to build custom footprints. It's the opportunity to learn how to to route things and, you know, do your silk screening and all that stuff. And it just makes an absolute perfect project. And I think if we can get enough people together on this project that we might even be able to come up with groups of PCBs where you can actually buy, instead of buying 10 of this board, you can get two of this board and two of another board and two of another board and get an entire collection of add-on boards for your custom 40 pin mega tester. Another thing that makes this project really versatile is the fact that this board is gonna have uh, female headers on there, which means that you can take any number of two row male headers and put them in just like that. So what that allows us to do is, let's say that you decide to make a board full of different audio connectors and the most connectors that you have on your board is eight pins. Well, then you only have to route those eight traces because you can come in here and just plug it in just like that and not need to take up all the space on the tester. 
In fact, that would actually allow you to put multiple things on the tester at the same time. There are just so many options with something like this, and I think that it's honestly a perfect project for you to learn PCB design. So what am I asking from you? Well, the last video I put out was a basic learn KiCad in 45 minutes, and I encourage you to watch that video. I encourage you to learn the basics of circuit design and PCB design and things like that. And then from there, think about some things that you have in your office or that you have in your shop that you might want to be able to test. What kind of connectors would you want to be able to do and all that kind of stuff. And think about maybe mocking up a board. Um, essentially, all you have to do is you can see here we've got pin one and two there and then you just go up to 40 this direction and you know they'll mate together and so we're going to work on some form factors for exactly where mounting holes are going to go and other things like that but at least learn the basics and then soon you're going to see a video from me and another youtuber who are going to um, give a little bit more of the specs of the design and then hopefully this thing will take off and we can all have just a lot of fun with it so why am I telling you about this now when I don't have the final product? Well, it's because I don't have the final product. You see, every time I make something like this, people tell me, oh, you should have done this or you should have done that. And you know, it's annoying, but it's not annoying because they're annoying. It's annoying because a lot of times they're right. So this is your chance. The final board has not been built. The final design has not been finalized. If there's an idea that you have for this, if there's a feature you think this needs, if there's something you think we're missing, Tell us now, write it in the comments, contact us, let us know what we could do to make this project better because then you can just buy one tester and we can get it right the first time. I mean, the third time, uh, you know, with this design. And so let's do it right. Tell us what you think. Let us know your ideas and let's make this thing awesome. So, hey, thank you so much for watching and thank you PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Have a great day.